Now at six, giving thanks for those that dedicate their time to help the elderly and the homeless on the Thanksgiving holiday. Good evening, I'm Carly Barnett and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. When so many are in need, receiving a special holiday meal means maybe a little more this year to many across South Florida. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us from one of the many charities delivering food but they have concerns of their own as the demand for food grows amid the coronavirus pandemic. It's a 30 year tradition for the Kiwanis Club of Little Havana serving Thanksgiving meals. This Thanksgiving platter is what so many here say they had been looking forward to as they packed the hallways at Smathers Plaza, a public housing facility for the elderly. They're getting turkey, turkey, stuffing, a, a dessert, dessert, uh, rice. It is a meal that makes their day. It's a lovely thing, and we kind of uh, look forward to it. This but, year it's been harder than ever, right? Yes, very hard. We do what we can. I feel so happy with that because today is a special day. And they are so grateful. Well, we feel very well because all the persons here are very kind with us and they are very happy with all the things that we have done. Because of restrictions tied to the coronavirus, those here do not dine together this Thanksgiving. They take these meals to go. With the COVID pandemic, this year is even more meaningful. It is something that now is really needed because these people can't even go out to get things because they are exposed. Not far away, it's a special day at the Miami Rescue Mission where the homeless receive hygiene bags, haircuts, clothing, and for the 45th year in a row, meals that include roast turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, and pumpkin pie. Head chef Calvin McFadden has prepared the feast for 17 years. It's very important for me to do this because a lot of people have been sick this year, haven't been able to come out and get the right kind of food that they need. So we're here to serve as many people as we can and give something back to the community. It's what motivates Marilyn Brummett, vice president of the Miami Rescue Mission. For my husband and I, it's a calling. God has called us to this ministry. This is not a job. And volunteers like 17-year-old Victoria Labania helping the elderly. Well, I feel like this year especially, it's really important to help out the elderly community, especially with everything going on this year. I think it feels really good to help others, and it makes me feel good. With the coronavirus, food insecurity is a rising concern for the elderly. For many, this was one way on this special day to ease some of that anxiety. In Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.